Konstantin Chaikin is a Russian watchmaker who's independent, also an inventor who began his journey in 2003. Now he built his first clock, then in 2011 he released his first wristwatch series, the Levitus. Now he is most well known for his quirky watches in the Wristman's collection. Now these are the watches he is most famous for. Those are gonna be the Minions, the Joker, the Green Halloween, the Harley Quinn, and many more like it. Now these things are extremely hard to get and they're extremely expensive. He does have a few other watches in other collections that are a little more subdued, but he's most well known for these face watches. So even if the clown is not your taste, or even if it is, to find one of these is harder than Bill Cosby left alone in a room with an unconscious girl. That being said, if you do want one, you're gonna have to go on the aftermarket, the gray market, pick it up from a secondary dealer for around 20 to 40 grand. Now as an affordable, an alternative watch channel here at All Things Random. I'm gonna bring you something that's a lot more affordable and an alternative to one of these face watches. Today, we're looking at something that is well under $20,000. I'll tell you the price at the end, but we're looking at the Oblivio Joker. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Chase, and this is All Things Random, mostly watch reviews with some random stuff sprinkled in between. I have a lot of videos coming out, especially because the holidays are right around the corner. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, it really does help the channel. Hit that like button, it really does help the algorithm. And leave a comment of some of the things you guys would like me to review in the future. With a similar aesthetic to the Constantine Chaikin, the Oblivio's Joker's dial offers a unique way of telling time with the hours being read on the right eye and the minutes on the left and the mouth as a sun moon indicator. This thing has Geneva stripes that run vertically across the dial, giving a flicker and shine as your wrist moves under the light. The dial offers a lot of depth, with an additional brush plate around the eyes, creating almost cheekbones. Then another layer of black trim around the mouth, the eyes, with a black plate near the 12, giving the face eyebrows. A small gem sits center of the dial, adding a nose. The case on this is 42 millimeters in diameter. The lug to lug is just under 50, and the total thickness of the watch, even with a box sapphire crystal, yes, a sapphire crystal, is just under 12 millimeters. So it doesn't sit too prominently on the wrist. Now the lug width on this is 22 millimeters, so it's gonna be pretty easy to find an aftermarket strap. If you wish, the strap they offer is actually pretty decent. The case of this watch is made of 316L stainless steel and offers multiple levels of finishing. It offers chamfered edging along the lugs and has a high polished bezel. This gives a nice shine to the watch, something they didn't really have to do. When a watch company decides to do multiple levels of finishing, they're just adding an additional layer of complexion to the watch they didn't have to. They could have done the entire case as high polished and it would have still looked great, but instead they try to do vertical brushing along the sides that just gives a nice overall presence on the wrist. Now they stated the movement inside is the Oblivio 1910. This is just an absolute lie. When you look right here through the case back, through that face or whatever they decided to put on the case back, you can see on the rotor, it's an NH35A. This isn't a bad thing. Clearly what they did was they put a module on top of an already proven workhorse movement in of course the affordable end because the NH35 are on watches that are as cheap as $70. If you look at something like the Invicta Pro Diver, but the NH35 is a proven movement and it's easy to replace, it's easy to fix. So clearly they just put a module on top. Now the NH35 comes in at 40, about 40 hours of power reserve, uh, 21,600 vibrations an hour, 25 joules, and runs about plus or minus 15 to 25 seconds a day. It's not the most accurate movement in the world, but this is an affordable watch. The strap they say is made of calf skin. Now again, I own Chase Straps, my own personal watch strap company, and I know that something like Italian calf leather can come in relatively affordable because my high-end 
Italian calf leather straps only run you about 40 bucks, and that's still a markup from me buying it wholesale. So they could easily put a calf leather watch strap on this, and it's actually quite doable. Is it the highest end calf strap? No. You can see it's got embossed along the front. It is padded, and it does go down to a double pusher deployment clasp. I think they did a good job, especially using this type of clasp. It does offer just a little bit more when classing up the watch. The watch is solid and well-made, and I'm relatively happy with the quality control, especially for a watch that's under $300. Yes, you just heard that correctly. This watch is under 300 bucks. 316L stainless steel, automatic movement with a module on top that gives the face right and then you have a box sapphire crystal and a nice decent strap attached to it under 300 bucks it's hard to find anything more affordable that offers as much as this watch does especially with the depth of the dial one of the things that i love the most not just the face of the dial but the vertical geneva striping on the dial looks great the multiple layer on the dial looks wonderful and the one thing that i love the most about this watch is the loom the loom they did fantastically in fact let's turn off the lights and i'll show you what i mean by the loom now you can see that the eyeballs are loomed the indices around the eyeballs are loomed and not just that but when you look down at the mouth the stars and moon for the night indicator are loomed and the rays and the sun for the day indicator are also loomed and it lasts quite a while i messed with this watch in the dark and it shined for quite a long time surprisingly and impressingly more than most dive watches which you know are normally loom monsters now speaking of dive watches and water resistance this thing only comes in at 30 meters of water resistance so it's a generic water resistance for a watch don't ever get it wet that being said the crown is very prominent wonderfully gnarled and does not screw in it only is a push pull so a slight pull into the time only setting and it's very easy to set right a rotation of that crown and you can see that the left eye of the minutes start to spin and then the right eye of course the hours and you can see down at the mouth the day night indicator the whole watch is done quite well everything lines up perfectly this watch is fun, it's goofy, it's a real conversation starter. Halloween is just around the corner, and then the holidays after that. So if you want something that's going to turn eyes, it's going to start a conversation that is just fun and quirky, and you want to not spend 20 to 40 grand, this is a great alternative at 300 bucks. Now, I picked this up on Amazon. Don't know if you guys can get it. I'll leave a link to Amazon that I picked it up down below. Also, check out the other links, the watches I've reviewed in the past for sale. This watch is going to be listed. I don't know when it's going to be listed, but it's going to be half off the original price that I purchased it for, along with all the other watches that I review on this channel, mostly. Not every watch, but most of the watches. I'll just turn around. I'll flip them, sell them for about half off to give you guys a great deal so I can just purchase more watches to review in the future now what do you guys think about this watch love it hate it it is a great watch and they do offer a lot of bang for the buck for 300 bucks they did quite a bit they did multi-level finishing on the case they did multi-layer on the dialing they offered a box sapphire automatic movement pretty decent watch strap with a good deployment clasp i think you'd be hard pressed to find something more affordable that offers as much as they do now Remember, hit that notification bell. For some reason, people aren't receiving notifications. Also, check out the links below that really help the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.